iPad looks like. Mind you, it's playing Hulu in the background. It's fully charged, no less. I just took it off the charger because it's been charging all fucking night. And I called Apple Care immediately and they're like, well, this seems to be a diagnostic issue. You need to go to the Apple store. I am nowhere near the Apple store right now, nor did I have that scheduled into my plans for the next couple days. Like, it's not just simple for me to just go to the fucking Apple store. Um, and that at the bottom is scaring me because it makes me feel like my fucking screen is broke because I'm not going to lie. When my MacBook broke, it had like this pink streak on it, but it wasn't like this. And the fact that I have a passcode on it, it's not letting me get into it. It's literally highlighted as if like, it's going to let me in. No, it's not. And I'm pissed because if I could at least get into it and turn it off, cool. So basically what I have to do is let it die. And hopefully when I let it die, it'll turn back on normally so I can log the fuck in. I literally was able to get into it this morning um, before I went to sleep. Um, and all that. And once it locked, it just stayed like this. So me annoyed because again, my Apple care expired. I don't know what the fuck I be paying Apple every month for my subscriptions to be expiring. I'm literally getting money taken out of my account every fucking day to get, um, my Apple shit paid for. Why the fuck is my Apple care not paid for and expired? Like what do I, what the fuck do I literally pay Apple for every fucking week? Damn near. I'm so confused. So they're like, well, good thing is since you bought the cellular data on um, your iPad, maybe you can connect to your carrier, get Apple Care through them. So that way, when you do make your appointment, you don't have to necessarily pay out of pocket. Like they should be able to cover everything. So now I'm on the phone with fucking T-Mobile on my main phone. Y'all know this is my second phone. Um, to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, I'm just so annoyed. I really just want my Apple products fixed to make my life 10 times easier. Y'all see why I bought a fucking iPad? I'm so happy that I listened to myself because I feel like if this did this right now and I didn't have my, my computer, I would have been in tears. Like, literal tears how I was when I dropped my MacBook and that pissed me the fuck off. Um... And I just, I, told, I called my mom and I told her, like, I, like, I don't, like, I love y'all, but, like, I have boundaries for a reason. I understand that, you know, y'all had to get up and do what y'all had to do, which had, in result, had woke me up because I had to do something for them. Okay, fine. But all I ask is that when y'all know y'all coming in my room for the first time during the day, pick the aura. I don't mind her jumping on my bed and attacking me, but I do when I have expensive-ass Apple products that I literally use every fucking day and now I cannot use like I have a problem with that they can't do that going into my sister's room they can barely get two feet in there and I feel like maybe I just got to get stricter but I feel like I've already been strict so I don't understand why everybody's just so lax when it comes to me and it's just frustrating because I I paid <laughs> I paid fifteen hundred dollars for this out of pocket like nobody bought this for me nobody can afford to replace it so it's like come on now and you're probably like, how the fuck are you going to blame Dior? Um, but how, how are you going to blame Dior but blame it on your parents? Because Dior knows better, but she don't know better. Like, that's just something that she does. But her jumping on my bed this morning could have been prevented is the fucking point that I'm trying to make. If she never jumped on my bed, my iPad would have never fell and hit my damn head. Like, I literally woke up this morning completely fine. My iPad was sitting up fine like it always does every single night. There's no reason that she should have jumped on my bed like that and it knocked it over so hard that now my screen is glitching. Like, and mind you, it hit the back of my fucking head. Like, I'm not saying like, damn, like, bitch, you, you know, my head is hard as fuck. But of course, when something as sensitive as a device like that hits anything, anything hard, really, it's bound to get damaged. Like, and then T-Mobile's taking forever to fucking answer. I've been on the phone for 22 fucking minutes. Like, I just pray that my situation could get fixed today because if not, I'm just going to give it to God. The only thing that I could say now when I do my YouTube videos is that I'm going to have to just do it through my phone. I can't airdrop the footage that I be having to my HP. It's going to mess up the quality, one. And two... It's not going to help. Now, good thing I have a desktop so that way I can use my TubeBuddy 
um i can just see it from a desktop's point of view but i'm telling you if i didn't have my laptop um i probably would be in uh i'll probably be a fucking mess right now so i'm trying to give it to god i'm trying to be patient i'm trying to like, figure out get an answer i don't know but i'm watching hulu right now on my um is that margot robbie I feel like I see her everywhere now since the Barbie movie. She's so pretty. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the white girl that played um, that in that Barbie movie as the Barbie her. Oh, she was on the Chanel campaign. Okay, girl, purr. Get your money. I'm just really annoyed. I'm really, really annoyed. And then T-Mobile's taking forever to fucking answer. I don't know what the fuck y'all taking so long for. It's really irritating me. My mom just texted me. There's some munchies on the table. Say something for your sister and I'll try to bring home food. Thanks again. Sorry about your laptop. We'll figure it out. Somebody better figure out something. Somebody better figure out something because like this is crazy. And Apple, I don't understand how y'all have taken everything from me but never paid my Apple Care. I'm so confused. What the fuck have I been paying for all these fucking months? Like, this is why I need to start getting my Apple Care up front. Like, paying that, I think it's usually like 160 something up front. Because the monthly payment shit, y'all, somebody's fucking lying. <laughs> I literally have so many receipts coming from Apple damn near every fucking week. And you're telling me my Apple Care was never paid? Something's not right. Somebody lying. Y'all pocketing my money at this point. Because there ain't no fucking way. The funds is not the issue. The issue is everything Apple coming out my account every time I turn the fuck around. And Apple Care clearly wasn't one of them. What the fuck was y'all doing? I'm so lost. So hopefully I can get the shit through. Um, I can get it through T-Mobile. And I wonder if I could do the same thing for my MacBook and maybe it won't cost as much. But I'm a little iffy about that because I did buy that device maybe like back in 2020 and my iPad is my most recent recent Apple purchase. I said recent, Jesus. I'm calm. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna breathe. My child, she's in the living room. Um, she always does that in the living room. After she's done getting excited with me, she'll just go in the living room and she just chill. She just lays around. Fine, but I'm mad at her. And I'm mad at my grandma because there was no reason for that. Like. It's like niggas do not have any boundaries when it comes to me and wonder why I move the way I do or I stay in my room for this exact fucking reason. Like, everybody knows I don't got no TV. Like, come on, bro. And my iPad, I've literally been using to help me get by in school. Thankfully, I have a desktop computer, which is more beneficial in my end. It's just not going to be as fast or speed as an Apple device. With Apple on your iPhone, that shit's instant. But... You know, I'm still grateful that I have an iPhone that works. I have two iPhones that work. So I'm going to just have to really just make this shit work. Um, I know God can replace materialistic things. And my child cannot be replaced. My grandma can't be replaced. I can't be replaced. But it's just, it just sucks, you know. Like, whenever I, whenever y'all see me with, like, my this phone my second phone or well, used to be my original phone my 11 pro max that's paid off my apple watch my airpods my second iphone my new laptop um hell my ipad i work hard for all of that shit like i pay for it out of pocket nobody's funding my lifestyle funding what it is that i do nothing i've just been doing this shit myself and with the help of like you know school and shit like that but like that's why I take good care of everything that I have in my ecosystem and just outside of it because it's very important to me. I don't just be buying devices just for the fuck of it. I buy it because it's going to help me be successful in school. It's going to help me with my businesses and with me doing graphic design. My iPad was kind of perfect to like really, really utilize 
um to get shit done and i mean granted i got the shit on my phone but it's not the same i got it on my ipad some of it not my ipad my desktop but i mean it is a little bit better like i said because i have that desktop view and a lot of the things that i'm trying to do you can't do without a desktop so it's like i'm grateful for that and i'm definitely happy that i stuck with my first mind and purchased this baby the other day because if this happened to me right now i would literally be in shambles <laughs> Not going to lie to you, I would literally be in shambles because you, there's there's no way. There's no fucking way. But anyways, um, I'm going to just chill. I'm been on the phone with these bitches for 28 minutes and no one has answered. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, excuse me. I don't know what the fuck the problem is. Um, I feel like I'm rambling to y'all at this point. But y'all see how calm and still I am? It took a lot to get to this point. I wasn't always calm and still, I promise you. Um, so let me just decompress, watch my long order on uh, my HP because the show doesn't stop. And hopefully I get some answers from T-Mobile whenever the fuck they decide to answer. But yeah, I've been on the phone with these bitches for 22 minutes. 28 minutes, I'm sorry. This is fucking ridiculous. Just pray for me. I will see y'all later. How can mommy be mad at this beautiful face? I know she didn't mean it. I can't be mad at Dior for long. Like I have my moments, but she looked tired. I'm tired too. That's why I'm so calm. Say hi, baby. so fake on camera but after being on the phone with t-mobile for an hour they're like oh well we can't offer insurance like there's no window of time to offer insurance that's so cap because i literally did that before i literally did it before and they're talking about I'll go through a third party but the way my screen is looking you want me to go through a third party what the fuck could they possibly do that's that won't make it worse like this is exactly what the fuck i needed right before i go back to school <sighs> oh man this is crazy maybe i could i don't know promote my website on tiktok and maybe just say hey like I would love if you guys could purchase, you know, some ebooks and journals. Um, my iPad is broken and I need to get her fixed. This is the estimated cost to get the screen fixed. Um, help your girl out or something. I don't know. This is so annoying. Like, I hate being inconvenienced. I hate getting inconvenienced. And I hate just try my hardest not to be annoyed or irritated um i'll come back on camera when my attitude is a little better oh my skin looks nice hey y'all happy monday i don't have school so it's still spring break for me i'm at the doctor's office right now my mom and dior dior stressing out i don't know what her problem is uh my mom has our first primary doctor that I had through a different doctor, like the office, like I never knew what happened to her. She just wrote me a letter or email stating that, hey, I no longer work at this facility. She never said where she worked at. So this whole time, she's literally been down the street from my other office, which is so crazy because I literally have not seen her in years. So I'm actually kind of excited to go see her. So yeah, um, skin looks great. But yeah, uh, other than that, I gotta clean my room. I registered for my fall classes and summer classes. I'm excited. We'll get y'all to tea on that later. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm back home. I done got the packages. I'm in my room, by the way. Um, so let's get them open. I'm super, super excited. I feel like I haven't gotten mail in a while. That's actually a lie. But um, this stuff has been sitting here all the spring break, so. Let's open her up. Again, I apologize for the lighting. I'm in my room. I realized over there, I feel like I'm missing something. So, 
um, I don't know, but this black package is from Peace Out Skincare. I've worked with them like a kajillion billion times. They literally have the best skincare stuff. Um, I got their acne patches, their pimple acne dots. I got their eye cream. Something else they sent me not that long ago. What is this? This is their acne, peace out acne clarifying treatment serum, which I need because my fucking skin is going nuts. Made good with only good for skin properties. We left out bad stuff like fragrances, parabens, and put in the good stuff. So it has salicylic acid, which you need to wear your sunscreen. Um, niacinamide and vitamin C, which your girl definitely needs. Cause as you can see, we have like pigmentation. Zinc, we love zinc. Um, and trihyaluronic acid and centella. I want to say Asiatica extract. <laughs> it says it's an herbal extract with hydration properties that helps keep your skin glowing and healthy. How do you put this on? Clean your skin thoroughly before applying the product. Cover or an entire affected area with a thin layer one to three times. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, my skin is clean right now. I want to try it. Then they gave me healing dots, which actually that's really what the hell i need to use because i'm breaking out all right here and here and it's annoying so thank you peace out for sending me that um next we got this little box i don't know what it is it doesn't have a name i'm assuming it's from tiktok shop yeah i don't know what the fuck is going on my skin is going on this. the ring light got me another ring light so, y'all know I got that other ring light that I use for my phone, which is so crazy because I literally brought it here. I need to stop bringing shit from home and fucking losing it because now I can't fucking find it. So, I'm happy that I have a new selfie light that I can use because, yeah. Um, actually, I wonder, let me, I'm not supposed to do it with the Okay, I'm back. So, excuse my fucking phone ringing because my friends always be calling me at the strangest times. We're going to rip her off. This is what it looks like. I'm literally going to clip it on here and we're going to literally see how crazy this lighting is because we currently, wow. Well, that looks a lot, <laughs> a lot better. Jesus Christ. I don't like the yellow light. How can we just make it white but bright? Oh, so it has yellow and white in it. So can we put it here and get us some lighting? Okay. It's giving rich auntie, okay? But this light is giving. She's eating. And I'm going to eat this review up for TikTok, okay? Okay. Um, This says it's from Sheen Fulfillment. I haven't gotten a package from Sheen in God knows how long. Um, especially since I'm not their ambassador anymore and I try to become their ambassador again and the same person just kept denying me from working with them like it's so fucking weird um what could this be unless this is from she glam that's the only sheen packages that i've been getting is from she glam which is their makeup and they actually love me so and she was closed lately for plus size women have been fucking ugly anyway so whatever um, but it's from she glam and it is the Good Grip Hydra, Hydran, Good Grip Hydrating Primer. So you use this for your makeup. Let's open her up. I'm loving this packaging. One thing about She Glam, they gonna eat with the packaging and they gonna reach out to you every time I love them. Shout out to She Glam. Gotta go for real. Look at this packaging here. Why does this remind me of, this is so pretty. Why does this remind me of the e.l.f. Power Grip Hydro Grip Primer? <laughs> it literally reminds me of that, except it's like two to, two, two to three times the size. And it literally looks like it gives Hydro Grip. And that's literally what it says, it's Hydro Grip. Hydrating Primer. Yep, base for good grip. Is giving your girl need to go get a motherfucking foundation. 
that looks like her skin tone so we can put her to good use but thank you for coming to my ted talk slash my little haul um i don't know the light eats <laughs> i've been cutting up ever since i got my hair done but yeah, y'all, I got graphics class at 7, 7.20. I got graphics class at 8 o'clock. So, I'm going to go roll one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to roll one. Class was great. Um, my teacher gave me excellent feedback for my speech. I literally switched the two. I'm supposed to do an informative speech, and it turned into introductory. No, I was supposed to do an introductory speech. It turned informative. So, she's only going to take, like, two points off. Um, but we had also talked about my progress report because she basically told the school, like, you know, I'm not in danger of failing the class, but I'm looking at a C average as of now, I guess. But we did talk and she was just like, you know, I only put that in there, you know, just for your progress report. It's nothing against you. We already talked about that and stuff like that. And she did go back in and say that we spoke, which I appreciated because I told her, girl, my academic advisor brought it up. Y'all professors don't be knowing whenever y'all, whenever y'all say something that I'm not doing right, they going to come to me and I got to go to them because nine times out of 10, when y'all go to them, I've talked to y'all already. You know? So, yeah, girl, there's that. I kind of want to make a sandwich. Kind of really don't. Um, I got to save my money on for this weekend. So, there's no ordering out. Um, which is fine. I don't need to be ordering out anymore anyway. But, I will be saving my appetite for Havachi on the 50th flow on Saturday. No, I'm kidding. And also, too, like someone said on TikTok, I want y'all to know that there is no Havachi on the 50th floor. Don't shoot me, okay? Just, I'm just saying. I, the, I ain't never been to no hibachi on the fifth floor. And also, the hibachi dates. Y'all wanna go on hibachi dates, baby. Y'all do know y'all gonna be sharing the table for 12 people, right? Unless your person got it like that to where they could just take the whole table up. But nine times out of 10, that's just not how hibachi works. They probably won't let you do that. Unless you're coughing up a pretty, pretty penny to cover every single seat just for the two of y'all. I'm going to shut the hell up, though. Love y'all. I'll see y'all a little bit later, probably after my graphics class. Yeah, bye. My hair looks crazy. Well, maybe not. I'm just not used to having short hair. Like, I really did not think I could pull off short hair because I have a fat face with chubby cheeks. And this is a bright-ass hair color, bitch. Um, but TikTok and Instagram probably say otherwise. <laughs> so... I just got out of my public speaking class. This raggedy ass elevator. Um, I just got out of public speaking. I'm finna go on the boulevard. Pick up my packages so I can stop getting emails. It's early and uh, you need an ID. So I got my ID. I'm um, finna go grab that. And yeah, so I'm finna head home too. Yeah, bye. Hey y'all, good morning. Again, not too much on my hair. My flexi rods, I just took them down because I got this ugly fat ass line of indent demarcation for my fucking bonnet since i had to wear my shower cap and i can't fucking find <laughs> my um my regular bonnet which i think is fucking nuts um so it's like 11 it's a little bit after 11 um i'm about to eat real quick and then i'm gonna do my skincare routine i got some promo to do let me show y'all. So, Ali. Um, I have this White Bite Pro Teeth Whitening Kit. So, I'm really, really excited to use this because I've been dying to get some teeth whitening done. And then, we also have these face towels, um, which is crazy because I was literally running low on some. Um, I usually typically get mine from Amazon, but... Um, these are from TikTok shop and so are these tooth whitening things. So I feel like I'm going to start posting, um, what I get from TikTok shop in the description box. So y'all can go ahead, run it up. Um, it's kind of the same thing as me post posting commission based links in my, uh, bio, not my bio, my description box. So run it up for your girl. Every time you see me post something, don't buy something obviously that you don't need or you don't, you know want you know but i think we could all use some teeth whitening and some um facial facial towels because i've been stopped using washcloths for my face a long time ago sorry i'm watching long order <laughs> um and i've been loving facial towels for my face like that has probably been 
the number one game changer in my face and slash skincare routine. And um, y'all also seen that I used this, or I didn't use it, but I unboxed this yesterday, the Peace Out Acne Serum. I'm definitely gonna use this um, on my face today because your girl's breaking out and I didn't sleep with acne dots on last night like I was supposed to. So hopefully this does what it's supposed to for your girl. On today's agenda, um, I need to get content done. I need to get my homework done. And I have class at three, class at 3.30. Then Meet the Greeks is tonight from seven to 10. And I'm not going to the Meet the Greeks after party, unfortunately, I just have too much shit to do. And it's gonna be late as fuck. And while I'm looking at where the party, the after party is, it's not far, it's not close to my crib at all. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be having to walk. Yeah, so, cause I don't even think the shuttle's gonna run that late even though it's Thursday. So with that being said, um, no after party for me. Um, I'm going with my girl Shamir. Um, I just went to Vesper with her for her birthday last month. So I really haven't seen her since then. So I'm excited to be going with somebody. <clears throat> Me and her gonna link up, which is why I need to do everything I need to do now. These promos, eat, get ready for class, come back. Um, because by the time I come back home, I have like a good two hours, I wanna say, to get some more work done. So yeah, we're just gonna play it by ear, figure it all out. It's all gonna get done, I'm gonna be fine. Um, and yeah, so I will see y'all a little bit later. Hey y'all, so, excuse my hair, it's just blowing in the wind. I swear, I need to get like a clip that I have and just clip my hair to the side when I walk cause I hate when my fucking hair blows in the wind and also I hate wearing the hood. Um, I'm walking to class right now. I did my whole skincare routine. I wish I filmed it for y'all, but I had to get some sponsors and stuff out the way for TikTok shop. I might include them in this video, we'll see. I'll see y'all when I get to class. Y'all already know what I'm finna say. Where am I going? To that shuttle, hey, amen. Just got out of class, I'm starving. We got Meet the Greeks tonight. Another one of my friends is going. So now I'm like, okay, well bitch, dress up a little bit. Don't wear sweats, put on, you know, some sweats or something. I mean, jeans, but yeah, I will see y'all. My ass is not getting on that shuttle because I fucking missed it. So guess who's walking home? It's fine. I'm not mad. I actually had to talk to my teacher about my mental health paper anyway. So whatever. It's fine. I'm really irritated. Well, no, I didn't miss that. Okay, cool. I got to go to that tomorrow. Um, let me just talk to y'all when I get to the fucking super center. I'm cold as fuck, bitch. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I can't lie. I'm fucking with the straight bob. I can't lie, it's cute. I really don't know what the fuck. March 21st, today's not the 21st, is it? Jesus, I'm gonna have to cancel my fucking therapy session again. Cause I'm not gonna be there, be here. But I don't know what the fuck is going on with this part. That's fine, me. I didn't grab, I left my fucking brush. It's fine, it's fine, I don't need it. I have a comb, I have a comb. Um, Kara, my friend, is supposed to be picking me up to so decide to meet the Greeks. I don't know where the fuck she's meeting me at. I don't know. I'll let you know. Um, we're linking my friend Shamir. She's going to save our seats because she's closer to Flavor Hall than we are. So, yeah. Um, when I figure out what the fuck I'm going and what I'm doing right now, I will hit y'all back.
saying, we oh so smooth. I said, oh so smooth. They say, yeah, we're the oh so smooth brothers of Lambda Sigma Upsilon Latino Fraternity Incorporated. Let's give a round of applause, y'all. Hello, how is everybody doing tonight? I'm Ryan DeGraffery. I'm a car brother in the Inner Sigma Sun Light Theater Fraternity Incorporated. I am from the Zadagua chapter. I pledge Spring 21. Hi guys, my name is Christopher Connor. I am from the Zadagua chapter of the Inner Sigma Sun Light Theater Fraternity Incorporated. I pledge Spring 23. Just a little bit of background knowledge. We were founded at Rutgers, New Brunswick um, at Livingston Campus on April 5th, 1979. <laughs>
coming to play. to get on the elevator and I purposely don't leave the door open for motherfuckers motherfuckers will hit the button and get on the elevator bitch if I wanted you to get on the elevator with me I would have kindly opened the door for you but I did not I actually wanted to be on here by myself but anyway now that I'm on the elevator by myself I look good as fuck bitch um meet the rick is over and I was not going to do this I'm about to make a bad fucking decision and go to chaos got to god knows how long phone halfway dead and I got lab at 11 in the morning so, I'm outside of my apartment. I'm finna go change. And when I mean change, I'm literally just probably gonna change it to some jeans. I might ditch the hoodie. I might ditch the hoodie. We'll see, bitch. We don't got that much time. Bye. I'm out of town, thuggin' with my round. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. Where the niggas come looking for the hoes? Quit playin', nigga, cause thug a bitch toe. Just left pound town Let my nigga, he just took a bitch down Yeah, that nigga get the bitch down Yeah, that nigga eat me out Pound town, just left pound town Let my nigga, he just took a bitch down Yeah, that nigga get the bitch down Yeah, that nigga eat me out uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out here in Miami Looking for the hoochie daddy Where, they at? Where the niggas that get red shit Where they at? My son need a new peppy Too many bitches, where the niggas at? I'm tryna get my coochie stretched, yeah I'm tryna get my coochie stretched, yeah You know them J heads doing the best, oh yeah I like a nigga with a check All my niggas give me neck You know I'm sexy, I'm the best I'm the shit, little bitch, I'm mad you know I, I, I can't say his name, cause he be cheap I love you, baby Yeah, and I'm the reason <laughs> Niggas love a bad bitch yeah. What's Suki say nut on my teeth? Pound town, just left pound town. Let my nigga, he just took a bitch down. Yeah, that nigga dick a bitch down. Yeah, that nigga eat me out.
pound pound town just left pound town yeah. with my nigga he just took a bitch down yeah that nigga did a bitch down yeah that nigga eat me out oh 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 uh, uh, uh. everybody named mama i just seen the plug i just seen friends i just seen facebook friends i just seen every goddamn body and i keep forgetting that my school was really a party school but last night was lit landy was lit um and now that i think about it i've never been to landy on college night like that ever because whenever the fuck my ass is going to college night bitch it was not lit and i also will go like before college night even started so that also could be why um <laughs> but we call it balance because a bitch is going to class am i a little late yes but did i have to get up early this morning and finish that quiz absolutely and did i and did i answer it to my best ability and answer all 10 questions yes the fuck i did you know i did and one thing about me two things for sure bitch i can write my way out of some shit okay so i'm super super happy that i got my work done and a bad bitch was able to party last night even though i should have stayed my black ass in the house but that just really proved to me that I'm really on the right track. I'm doing what the fuck I'm supposed to. And shit, bitch, come Monday, we got five weeks left of school. So we're going to finish off strong. I'm going to pass. I had to go back upstairs because I fucking forgot <laughs> my lab sneakers. And I packed my lab coat. I got my coat. You know, I'm really trying to cut out soda. But the girl's a little, a little groggy. So I need something to wake me up for the soup fry lab. Hopefully I don't inhale the fucking anesthetic because I remember when we did this the first time, motherfuckers were trying to inhale the shit and try to pass the hell out and I do not have time for that. So, I'll see y'all later. Okay. And every creepy crawlies on the, in the world. I thought you meant they actually played that. No, no. <laughs> they, they, they played on their phone and walked from their table all the way Smell that, bro. That's strong. Definitely gonna have to, uh, <laughs> I look crazy as fuck and I don't give a fuck. I'm a real ass bitch give a fuck about a nigga. Amen. So happy motherfucking Friday, y'all. I didn't even say that the last time I was on camera. I feel so much better. Lab went well. I showed y'all like kind of what we were doing, but I obviously couldn't explain. So basically in the clips that y'all seen, which I didn't take much of, um, we were fucking with fruit flies. And excuse the cars riding past me. But yeah, bitch, we, uh, we did that. And let me tell you something about my school. So they're building the student center. They're building in addition to the student center. Even though me, bitch, personally, I would have knocked down the whole motherfucking thing and just turned it into one big thing. But you know, that's just me, though. These colleges like to keep historic-ass buildings and shit, which that's cool. That's fine. But um, all I know is this new building that's going to be made out of glass better not be coming out of a bitch tuition next semester. Because, bitch, I've had to walk through hella high witters to the wizard in Oz to figure out where the fuck I was going uh, and vice versa. So yeah, hold on, let me show y'all this building. So this is the extension to the student center. And look at this, it's nice, don't get me wrong. Bitch, don't get me wrong, she's real cute. 
made out of glass and all that fancy shit. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is y'all better not raise that motherfucking in-state tuition because y'all wanted to build a building out of glass and then add it to the old-ass building when you should have just made the whole motherfucking thing new. And on top of that, y'all better put some better food options in this bitch too because I'm so sick of Roma's food, for real. But anyways, lab went well. Did what I needed to do. I finished my lab at like 12.36, me and my partner, and then we did the post quiz. I have very good faith that I passed both of those bitches because I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking too good for me with my lab grade right now. But if I go crazy with this lab report and the lab report after, oh bitch, I'm passing, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine, I'm passing bio and lab, fuck you talking about, but let me go grab my food because I'm starving. And I'll see y'all. And fellow peers, welcome to the first annual NAACP Excellence Networking Gala. Our event is hosted tonight by the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People Collegiate Chapter at Rowan University. My name is Brianna Reagan. I am first and foremost a proud soror of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, as well as Student Government Association. I will be your co-host for this evening, and I'm more than happy to allow my co-host to introduce himself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Brianna. Hi, everyone, and good evening. Uh, my name is Israel Agur, and I'm one of the assistant directors counselors for the Ascend EOF RISE program. I've had the distinct honor and privilege of serving in that capacity, but also I get the distinct honor and privilege of serving as, a, as the advisor or co-advisor, excuse me, uh, to the uh, NAACP chapter right here at Rowan University. Hey y'all, so I had to come in my room because this is the only quiet place in my house right now. But I went to the NAACP's Excellence Networking Gala tonight here at Rowan. And one of the speakers, um, Mr. Singleton, I don't want to mispronounce his first name. He literally was a keynote speaker tonight. And he basically, in his speech, he told a story about how basically in his last semester of law school, he had to undergo surgery for one of his hips. And by the grace of God, um, he had the same issue in his other hip, but his stem cells was able to, they were able to save his hip with his stem cells, right? One of the things that he said in his speech that really like had me tearing up was that excellence looks different on everyone in this room. And he didn't fucking lie when he meant that because when I tell you growing up because I am first gen and I did come from, you know, a single parent household, I'm first gen, no one in my family has been to college or has graduated with a degree. I put a lot of pressure on myself and excellence to me back then um, I want to say I had a preconceived notion of what excellence looked like because I just thought, oh, well, you know, if you graduate high school, you know, get your diploma, go straight to college, uh, fresh out of high school, like that following summer and, you know, breeze through college all four years straight. Like you do your four years of college back to back to back and then you graduate and then, you know, if I wanted to go to get a master's, I can go get a master's or if I want that to be it and I'm in my career field, cool, but that didn't happen for me. <laughs> I've been telling y'all for a long time now, really since I got on this damn app, I have been fighting for my education after high school since 2017. It's 2024 now. I'm a sophomore, borderline junior here at Rowan. Um, y'all know my college journey. I started out at DSU. I couldn't afford to stay there. My mom got into a badass car accident. I went to medical assistant school. I failed the fucking um, medical assistant licensure testing by one point in the entire history of the fucking program. And I felt so ashamed and so pitiful, um, about myself that I never even went back to go get fucking licensed. And, um, you know, I, I've worked in the hospital. I've, um, gotten experience, you know, working as an RA here at Roman. I've done different things, but like, 
they don't tell you that every the beauty in your journey is that it's your journey. The uniqueness to your journey is the fact that it's not going to look like everybody else. So I say that to say, don't feel like you've got to finish college in four years because for some people it's not possible. There's a whole bunch of shit, a whole bunch of different factors that go into college that motherfuckers don't be talking about. And the whole PWI versus HBCU situation, listen, bitch, you go where the fuck you can go. You go where the fuck you can afford. You go where who is going to give you the, fo- the most fucking money. It's really just that simple. I really hate the whole HBCU versus PWI conversation because regardless at the end of the motherfucking day, whether I'm black, blue, or brown going to an all-white school or all-black school with my people, I'm still getting my motherfucking degree at the end of the goddamn day, bitch. It don't make us no different than one another, just our location and our experiences. And to be honest, I might not ever well, obviously get a chance to live that HBCU lifestyle, but what I can say is that while I am here as a black woman on Rowan's campus, I'm going to make the best out of my situation. I can no longer mope about it. I can no longer be upset that I'm a black girl going to an all-white school. I'm used to that shit by now. I went to an all-white high school. I went to, um, well, my elementary school wasn't really white. It was a mixture, but yeah, it was white. Um, <laughs> but, you know, although there's a mixture of, you know, black and white people or people of color, you know, back home in the schools that I grew up in. Um, that's just something that I, that's been a part of me my entire life. And it just really is what the fuck it is. Like the beauty in it all is that I never stopped fighting for my education. I never stopped doing what the fuck it is that I set out for myself. I never lost sight of that vision. I'm going to keep going. And I don't like Rowan at times. I don't. And I even wrote a whole video as to why I was trying to leave this bitch because I promise y'all I wanted to get out of this motherfucker so bad. But you know what? I'm not the type of bitch that quits. I'm not the type of bitch that gives up easy. And one thing about it, two things for sure, that 18-year-old, me, back in 2017, I owe her the fucking world because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even be here at 25 getting my education now. So I say that to say, take your time. Take your time. I mean, they say we have nothing but time and you really don't, but take that time. I would be a damn fool if I didn't uh, take advantage of everything that Rowan offers. And I'm not going to lie. I don't like Rowan sometimes, but, but Rowan offers a lot of shit. You really just have to know people that know people. You have to put yourself out there. You got to network and you really just got to want it. And now that I'm just in this mode of grinding, just getting myself out there more, pushing myself out there, just doing a whole bunch of shit, I know that. I'm going to get that college experience that I've been yearning for since I was 18, and that's all the motherfucking matters. But I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all that because, man, when I tell you I was in that gala earlier, tearing the fuck up behind my neighbor, man, listen, <laughs> it, it didn't make no fucking sense. But I hope this reaches the right people. Not too much. I know I look like a proud family peanut, but that's neither here nor there. Good morning, y'all. Today is Saturday. I, did I vlog yesterday? I did vlog yesterday. I didn't vlog as much yesterday. Um, I had so much shit to say yesterday, but my ghetto ass alarm went off. But anyway, I had so much to say last night before I ended. Um, yesterday was like a portion of the vlog, but I ended up putting that bitch in the TikTok video. But I'm still going to sit down probably later on today and explain everything to y'all about basically what the fuck I'm talking about. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, you're probably like, why the fuck? First of all, I... I knew for a fact I brought home my bonnet, but because I'm so disorganized with all of my shit, I literally was convinced that I left it at home. Again, gaslighting myself, no, bitch, it's here, and I'm literally taking it back home, and I'm going to switch in a second, because I'm sick of this loud-ass fucking bonnet. Anyway, it's like, it's 8.45, well, 8.45 in the morning. Um, my mom and I are on their way to come get me, because today I'm celebrating my little cousin's birthday. Her birthday was two days ago, but me and my sister decided... Um, to take her out for her birthday um, because you know we just wanted to do something for her like you know everybody's birthday comes around nobody we want to do nothing motherfuckers be flaking and now my cousin y'all not so um, we finna go to hibachi tonight and do drunk bowling so I'm super super excited because I feel like this will also be an opportunity for me to just relax online let loose and also you know celebrate myself in a way obviously I will not be taking attention away from the birthday girl I would never do no shit like that I'm even going as far as bringing my content creator equipment my lighting my tripod and all that good stuff of course I wanted to use my camera but I cannot find the batteries or the thing and at this point I'm just I think I'm just gonna buy some at once because um, you could never have too many batteries or a battery bank but I'm going to use my iPhones and stuff like that and we're going to take her pictures and I'm just so excited for her like 
she's like my little she's like my little sister <laughs> we literally grew up together we were the closest when we all grew up together um because she is the well not no more but she was the only girl when we were growing up <laughs> so um i'm super super excited about that i'm literally up packing and as soon as i get home i'm not even going back to sleep i'm literally gonna be up doing homework because i have a whole bunch of homework actually let me rephrase i have four assignments and three discussion questions um due tonight at 11:59, and due to the fact that i will be outside i will be up doing my work until i get it done and pray that my ass gets a nap in and if not i just will be drinking a hella coffee this morning and that's just going to be the fuck it bitch okay but um i do need to tell y'all about how my day went yesterday i was so happy i was so excited um, because I don't know, God was just really speaking to me yesterday, and I was so emotional last night with Jamar, my neighbor, um, who's also my friend. Y'all already know vibes. Um, but like I said, I'll explain all that once I get back home. I don't want to get too much into it because it is early as fuck. Everybody is asleep, and I know I get passionate when I start running my gums. So let me actually take my trash out, finish packing, and I'll see y'all when I get back to my apartment. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? Can just change my mind like that. Please don't take this personal. But you ain't shit. My cousins just got here, well, one of my cousins, and actually both, they, I consider both of them my cousins. Um, waiting on the asses. I don't know where the fuck they at, but they need to hurry the fuck up. It's cold, and I'm standing right here by the door, and that food is good as fuck. But, um, yeah, waiting on them. I don't know what the fuck they doing. They probably parking, but hopefully it don't take too much, too much longer.
hey y'all come with me to get my hair done i have not had a wig in my damn head since forever but yellow crane hair store changed that and they sent me some hair they sent me a 10 inch uh a custom colored pink bob i've never done this color pink ever in my life i've never had short hair like this this is how the wig came it had four combs and it came with a band for it to be glueless of course i got it glued I went to Crimson to get my hair done. Why didn't y'all tell me that Crimson is literally the Tay of South Jersey? I don't understand why y'all were gatekeeping Crimson from me. But anyway, he got my wig together, okay, honey? And I was feeling myself in his chair, I'm not gonna lie. I was seeing the color, I was seeing the vision. I decided to get a side part because y'all know I'm a bust down middle part shoddy to the death of me. But this time around, I want to do something different. This color just complimented my skin so well. It was so cute. Look at that. Bow. It's giving 25. And I was feeling myself like, come on now. And I wore it straight too. Bob's on me look good after all, child. I loved it.